In this video, we'll learn to estimate answers to calculations using fractions and decimals. So we've got a couple of questions here with fractions and decimals. And estimating, again, means using a rounded figure, not the actual figure. So that is really important. So looking at the first question, I've got 3 sixteenths times 7 thirteenths. Now, if I just went on and multiplied the top numbers and the bottom numbers as they are, I'd get the answer wrong because I'd get the actual answer. And I'm looking for an estimate. So it's an estimated answer that I'm after. So what I'm going to do, I'll look at the numbers and it is 3 out of 16. So I know that... If I split 16 into four equal parts, or I get a quarter of it, I'd have four. So four out of 16 is one quarter. And four is very close to the three, so three is close to the four. That means that this is about one quarter. And seven out of 13, double seven is 14, so it does look like it's close to a half because 7 is half of 14 so that will be times a half so this is then 1 times 1 is 1 and 4 times 2 is 8 so this is about 1 eighth estimating the answer to this question and again I'm going to estimate the answer to this other question. So we've got 3 out of 16, as we said before, so that is close to a quarter. So it's the same as saying finding a quarter of 20. So what is a quarter of 20? Half in 21st, that gives us 10. Half again, that gives us 5. So a quarter of 20 is 5. And with decimals, we've got 0 0.45 times 150. Now, I know that that is very close to half, which is 0 0.5. So I'm going to use that rounded figure to multiply by 150. So half of 150, really, which is 75. So this is about 75. And... 0.45 of 70, that is, again, 0 0.5, we round it to, so this is about 35. So when it comes to estimating, as we said, we round the figures, we're looking at what they're closer to. Sometimes we have to simplify, sometimes we have to scale up, like we did here, that was 16, so if I divide it by 4, that would give us four so that gave me the suggestion that this is about a quarter and this one here again half or doubling that so either multiplying both of the numbers or one of the numbers to see what's the relationship of that with the next one so you get an approximate figure so this is how you estimate answers to calculations using fractions and decimals.